just like perfect, perfect knife skills. Wow, and just look at that there, guys. The world's thinnest noodle through a needle. So Lan Dachu here has been doing this for over 30 years. That is amazing. All right, check it out, guys. It's Trevor James, and today's video is an ultra rare exclusive opportunity because we're getting into the private kitchen of the number one Sichuan chef in China, Lan Dachu, right up here at his private joint. And we're gonna have a full on meal with him and try the world's thinnest noodle. Let's check it out. Get ready for Sichuan food like you've never seen. Because today, we're going in deep to Master Chef Lan's private kitchen in Chengdu and getting an insider's look at his philosophy of cooking and life which he imparts into every dish he creates. So make sure to watch all the way until the end because you're going to enjoy over 10 luxury, rarely seen dishes one after another and see 20 plus unique Sichuan specialties all while discovering with us what $300 of luxury Sichuan food is like. Let's eat. This is it right up here, guys. Yujerlan, his private kitchen. He can only have three groups of people in here at once, and we've got a booking with him, and he's gonna prepare for us an ultra elegant Sichuan meal. Let's go check it out. Here we go, guys. Ni hao, ni hao. And Lan Dachu, Master Chef Lan, he just told us to come into the kitchen. He's been preparing all day for this. First up, Chef Lan is showing us two of his dishes, his abalone and kung pao lobster. And then he's bringing us out to see how he makes and cuts the world's thinnest noodles. So we just got into Lan Dachu's kitchen here. This is the bao yu, right? Yes, yes, yes. 用原汤原汁水然后把它收拢一点我说实际上比较好一些就是鲍鱼的煮鲍鱼的那个汤嘛哦对这个鲍鱼是结合了石泉煮法嗯广东的煮法北方官府菜的煮法江浙一带的大
然后它就不会冻掉了啊，让它放松，放松，放松。这个会改呃影响味道吗？嗯、呃，它在很激烈的时候死掉，嗯，好啊，那个肉应该对没有那么软嘛。对对对对,对。哦，这个是宫保的味道嘛？对对对，盐和糖。Look at that, guys. That is the base of the gong bao. It's gonna be for the lobster. Yan, tang, oh, la jiao, la jiao, jiang, jiang chong suan, jiang chong suan. Oh, 对 Oh, and he just put in some caramel there. Wow. Oh, that is incredibly beautiful. Wow, and that gong bao flavor is so aromatic, slightly sweet. 就是有一点点甜的。Perfect. That is the most beautiful thing you'll ever see right there. That's beautiful. This is how much? This is the best time to eat. Best time? One time, one time, one time. Oh, you want to eat one time? Yes, you have to eat the meat. Oh, wow. It's going to be slightly raw in the middle. Oh, this is for the meat. For the meat. Oh, wow. And we are making the noodles now, guys. This is the meat. Oh, wow. And we are making the noodles now, guys. This is the meat. Oh, wow. And we are making the noodles now, guys. Duck egg noodles here, and we're gonna make the world's thinnest noodle. And after a quick mixing, the dough was ready to prepare into the world's thinnest noodles. Oh, look at that. Ooh, and jenda. 对，前面不快的，就后面这一集。哦，就是那用后面的嘛。对。Okay, here we go. Oh, we're gonna make the noodle. So we're gonna flatten this out five times using bamboo. This is the old way. This is the old way. 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 And Lehi, you can watch his feet, the way he uses his feet. It's just like, really, like he's doing Kung Fu. It's incredible. It's all so elegant, the way he's really spreading out the dough. It really is an art form here. And that is what's so amazing about coming here. You see this? It's Oh. Oh. <laughs> We've done this five times now, and each time it's just getting thinner and thinner. Duck egg noodles, and we're gonna slice it into the thinnest noodles in the world and put it into a kai shui bai cai. Ultra, ultra luxury, simple yet really difficult bai cai cabbage broth. Oh, it's gonna be really good. Cabbage, cabbage, cabbage. Day to day. Bai cai, bai cai. You can see this like a cow's ear. Wow. It's like paper. Nama, nama holder. Wow, you can see the light through it. <laughs> and we're just gonna flip it over. And how Kai should dao gong ma. dao gong That huge knife. Oh, and da da dao. Wow. Here we go, world's thinnest noodle. Ultra thin. Wow. Wow, that is extremely thin. You can see that <coughs> Lam Dachu, he's just perfectly focused. He's just in the zone. Count you. Oh, it's all about the balance. Skin Tai Chi Yang Ma. Just like Tai Chi. There they are. Perfect noodles. Wan Mei Da. Oh, 
Fang Le. Wow, and just look at that there, guys. The world's thinnest noodle through a needle. And we're gonna have an ultra luxurious Sichuan feast today. And before we knew it, the full experience of more than 20 ultra luxury Sichuan dishes began. All made with Chef Lan's philosophy of bringing out the natural flavor of the main ingredients, only touched and improved lightly by their sauces. So this is the cool jelly and fruit jam. Starch jelly in Sichuan is so famous, and you can see there's a bit of fruit jam on there, and then they also pair it with a sweet potato and bean sesame cake. Oh, 还有还有很多吗? 开胃凉菜。哦,开胃凉菜。茶素菇炒青笋干。哦。水香兔丁。哦,土丁土肉。对。红汤油芥肉。哇,很漂亮。酱酥腰果。哦,腰果。火锅鸡。火锅鸡。火锅鸡。凉拌的。凉拌的。
I've never, I've never tasted a mushroom that aromatic. And now it's time for the beautiful Kung Pao cold lobster. And you can see it's in, in that sauce. And he puts caramel on that. So it's like a caramel, sweet, spicy, sour lobster. Let's try it out. Mmm. 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 That's so good. It's like a caramel lobster. It's so perfectly springy. Oh, this is this is next level Sichuan food right here. Oh. Oh. Wow. So I think this is the fish ma matsutake soup. And the fish ma is like the gas bladder in many fish that's filled with a little bit of air that lets them control their buoyancy. And that's it right there. Look at that. Matsutake with the fish ma, the bladder, the gas bladder. Mmm. Oh. Oh, it's all about the consistency of that fish maw. Look at that. It's like a jelly. It's like a fatty jelly. It tastes like a pumpkin soup with a fatty jelly and a rich matataki umami-like mushroom flavor. Wow. Yuanwei bao yu. Tai hao le. And this is what we saw Chef Lan preparing there, making it ultra, ultra thick. He said he uses Japanese rice. He really condensed that stock down using previous batches of abalone and he's been cooking it all day since 9 a.m. And this is ultra large abalone and it's served with a little bit of black Sichuan mushroom and carrot greens. And then it's served with Japanese rice with dried scallop, red pepper, and more Sichuan black mushroom. Let's just cut right into that. Oh, look at that. Oh, Sichuan Master Chef lands. Abalone, look at that ultra thick, ultra thick. It looks, it's just like you're cutting into a steak. Oh, and with a, just a touch of rice on there. Japanese rice. Mm. Oh. oh, wow. I am convinced that is the best thing in the sea right there. The texture is like, unlike anything in the world. It's soft yet springy, almost gooey-like, but in a good way. And that ultra thick umami gravy is cooked with ham and free range chicken, only the best ingredients. It's kind of like an extra thick mushroom from the sea. Your teeth just sink into it and it's gooey. And that gravy oh, with the rice, that is ultra luxurious. Oh, this is Hai Shen. Oh, look at that. Swan Lada. Oh, that is sea cucumber in a Swan La Fen style. Oh, very famous in Chengdu and Chongqing. Sour, spicy. And those are sweet potato starch rice noodles with sea cucumber. This is actually Dalian deep water sea cucumber. And it's in that Sichuanese spicy and sour broth. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like really rubbery and, and bouncy. It just bounces around in your mouth. It's the most unique texture you'll ever taste. And it's all about the flavor of the Swan La spicy and sour broth. It's not too spicy, not too sour. You can tell it's actually really premium. Maybe just slightly sweet. Oh, oh, Dobar Ma. Dobar. Oh, oh, we've got a doubanjiang eel, so a Sichuan broad bean, fermented broad bean paste with chili eel. And it's also got Chinese onion, ginger, and garlic. Mmm. Oh, that is incredibly delicious. That right there is unlike anything you'll taste. It's actually slightly sweet with the fermented broad bean paste. It is incredibly, incredibly xiang and aromatic, garlicky. And then that bit of greens in there, give it a nuttiness, plant-like nuttiness. Oh, that is awesome. Oh, wow. Oh. Bird's nest soup, wow. 
Wow, that is just incredible, guys. And I can't believe what we're about to try here. She just poured on a snow pear. Look at that. That's like a pureed snow pear. And this is bird's nest soup. And this is actually all made from bird's saliva. Oh, it's a real rare specialty here in Chinese culture. And this is my first time trying. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. It's like foamy. It's like you're drinking a liquidy foam that's sweet. You can taste that snow pear. It's got a real pear-like sweetness to it. And you just slurp that down and it's soothing. This is honestly one of the best meals you'll ever eat in China. Everything was perfect. Finishing up with a Yuxiang fish fragrance eggplant, a spicy chili oil wonton, and some amazing clear stock with green beans and pumpkin. And with the amount of passion that Chef Lan puts into his work, this will forever be one of my unforgettable meals in China. Okay. Wow. That was a once in a lifetime amazing Sichuan food experience. I would love to know what you guys thought about this video in the comments below. Make sure you're subscribed and click the little bell notification button so you don't miss any of these videos. And thank you so much for watching.